Well hello and greetings Vinyl community. Um, it's been a little while. I've had some technical difficulties since I started um, doing these videos. I don't have a camera so I've, um, uh, you know, anyway, long story short, there is another camera on its way. A lovely Canon 5D so I'm hoping to have some fun with stills and video with that. Uh, this video is just about my singles collection. Now as the title of my channel suggests, really my main interest is in 12 inch discs vinyl, whether it's singles at 45 or albums. Um, I've kind of given up on singles, I'm at the moment liquidating my entire collection, so they're all going to find themselves on eBay or local collectors or um, whatever, they're all going to get sold. Um, you know, I, I just can't, I haven't got the storage space for them all. They, funny enough, they take up quite a bit more space than the albums in a strange, funny way. Um, you know, so I'm I'm eliminating them. Um, but I thought I'd, uh, before these all go, I thought I'd have a look through my Queen singles uh, before they all disappear. Um, and this is the first Queen single that I've bought. It's Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I didn't buy it in 1975. I bought it in about 1989, I think. It's been pretty much in this plastic wrapper all that time. It's in okay condition. It's well, yeah, it's in good to very good condition. Its value, its resale value has probably gone up a little bit in light of Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie which is out now. But this is one that I'm not going to sell. I'm going to hold on to this one um, because Bohemian Rhapsody was a particularly special single for me. So um, I'll be keeping that one. Uh, next on the list is We Will Rock You, We Are The Champions. Um, double A side. There's the label. It's got the nice crest on it which funny enough which appeared on the use the world album as well um but we you know it's kind of the um a night at the opera style crest um has appeared on it doesn't really match any of the artwork from the album at all and that's a nice you know it's a nice single cover that I'm always surprised, I mean, I don't really understand the full process of choosing the singles. Um, I know, I understand a little bit of how Queen did it, but I don't understand their thought process behind making these two songs a double A side single. Um, I don't know, I mean, hindsight is a great thing. I mean, they turned out to be absolute world beaters, each one of them, so surely they could have had a single each. I don't know. Um, but uh, there you go. They did, obviously didn't rate "We Will Rock You" that highly. It was "We Are the Champions" that was the single. I don't know if it's classed as a double A side. Um, I'm really not sure. So uh, there you go. But yeah, a nice single that matches the the album artwork. Um, <clears throat> next is. Fat Bottom Girls on Bicycle Race. Again, a confusing one. I think this was also uh, billed as a, a double A side. Again, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Nice artwork that matches the jazz album. Um, the girls on the bicycle going around there. It's not in the original cover. Obviously, this is just some kind of cover. Now. This one was second hand fairly recently. And a crazy little thing called love again not in its original picture sleeve um crazy little thing called love had we will rock you on the b-side from live killers so that's the live version so i guess you know um this is 1979 so they're promoting um live killers as well with that b-side Play the game from the slightly eponymous album, The Game. Um, 
the <coughs> single artwork kind of matches the video of the game really. Um, um, the B side is a human body which isn't available on any of the albums. It comes up later on in various collections. It turned up on the complete works, I think. There was a, a disc in there um, that had all the all these B-sides that weren't available. And again, I, I don't know why they did that. Why they put a song on the B-side of the single that isn't on the album. Um, I don't know how that technical process works. Um, Save Me. Not the greatest of covers. It smacks of... You know, just the, uh, I don't know, it's just, a, it's just a promo photo, it doesn't really have any kind, of, any kind of relation or bearing to the song or the album, the game, it's another one that's from the game. Um, and it's also, it's backed with Let Me Entertain You, also from Live Killers. So, um, even though... These are from the game, though they're, they're still pushing live colours, which was 78, so it was a little bit before then. One of my favourites, Flash. Interesting, again, the, the cover. Um, back with Football Fight, which isn't the greatest. The, um, they could have chosen the hero from that, and in fact the hero could have been another single. Um, Interesting cover, like I said, it doesn't really bear any relation to the album. I'm surprised it's not in yellow. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure that font work is really anything that we see in the album or the movie. I'm not sure. So, again, you know, um, you've got this um, cover and you've got Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, the back of that, you know, the, these are very much aping the albums that they've come from. This has shadows of the video it's come from, but these are just kind of semi-unrelated. Um, again, what the process is, I don't know. Queen and David Barry Under Pressure. I think this cover reflects the... Um, collaboration between them both. It was half-hearted isn't the correct term. Um, they didn't go all out, you know. David Barry kind of dropped the song because he wanted to work more on it and do more things on it and he thought it was kind of half finished, it was a bit rushed. Um, as the, the lyrics uh, on the back it um, doesn't actually tell you here what the B-side is. But the B-side is a real favourite song of mine. It's Soul Brother. Again, not, not available anywhere else. Um, except on various collections of B-sides. Um, now, <clears throat> I really love this cover. Although, again, it's sort of unrelated to, to anything really. Um, it doesn't bear any relation to any of the artwork from Hot Space. This is Last Palabra Stay More. Um, as Cool Cat as the B side. It's an absolutely gorgeous cover. It's one of my favourite covers of all time. Um, I may keep this one just for the cover unless I can find if there's a maxi 12 inch version of that with the cover, I will get that. Um, or some kind of poster, I guess, or some kind of artwork. Uh, okay, Radio Gaga, okay, not in its original sleeve. Uh, B-side, I Go Crazy, um, again, doesn't appear on, on the album. Um, these are from the works. Uh, this one is in a, a picture sleeve. I Want to Break Free. Now, funny enough, this single came in four versions. Um, the B-side to I Want to Break Free is Machines, which I think should have been its own single. One of the most underrated Queen songs there is. Um, this single came in four variants, um, each with one of the band members on the front. One of those. Uh, 
Hammer to Fall with Tear It Up from the album The Works. And thank God it's Christmas. Queen just kind of threw a song at Christmas and it didn't do very well. It's not the greatest song. It's kind of, it sounds like it came out of a session really and wasn't really that much effort put into it. The B side, uh, Man on the Prowl and Keep Passing the Open Windows, all from the album The Works. Again, not its, not its original cover. Um, <clears throat> interestingly, I do have the 12-inch of this song for the sheer fact that um, there's a extended version of Keep Passing the Open Windows. Or oh, it might be Man on the Prowl. <laughs> I'd have to check that. Okay, now into some solos here. Freddie Mercury, I was born to love you with um, Stop All The Fighting on the B-side and not on any of the albums. That's from Mr. Bad Guy, the album. And uh, Queen, One Vision, uh, has Blurred Vision on on the B-side. Um, I did like Blurred Vision. Um, and this is A Kind of Magic, not in its original sleeve, with A Dozen Red Roses for My Darling. Um, that's another track that, again, it's not on the album. It's kind of a, it's like a remix, I guess, of Don't Lose Your Head, I think, um, as far as I remember, but I quite like that song. Um, Friends Will Be Friends with Seven Seas of Rye on the B-side. Not my favourite Queen single, I think it's one of the weakest songs and Seven Seas of Rye, I don't know why, who knows, um, I don't know what the thinking behind that is, obviously that's from the video um, with the members of the Queen fan club in the, in the audience there, um, yeah. Okay, Freddie Mercury, The Great Pretender. I loved this when it came out. I loved the single, I loved the, the video. Um, just the Great Pretender with Exercising Free Love on the B-side. I used to play that song incessantly. Um, that was when we really got a taste of Freddie's true operatic tastes that led sort of the road, the, uh, the road to Montserrat Caballé and Barcelona as it were. I do have the 12 inch of that as well. Um, the Cross, Heaven for Everyone. Uh, Roger Taylor's band in, was this 1988? Yes, 1988. B-side, Love on a Tightrope, Like an Animal. I think I, re I remember I quite liked that song. Heaven for Everyone has gone on for, it's become a song that really should have been on a Queen album. There maybe should have been an album somewhere around between the works and a kind of magic maybe um, and it came out in these various solo projects um, and heaven for everyone turned up on it kind of became it, it, it became part of the Queen canon um, okay Freddie Mercury and Montserrat Caballé Barcelona um, and this has exercise in free love on the B-side, actually sung by Montserrat Caballé this time. So, so there's uh, so there's the lovely uh, gatefold single version. Here's uh, I want it all uh, from the Miracle with Hang On In There um, from No Album again on those B-sides. Uh, not strictly Queen, but um, Frank Sidebottom salutes the magic of Freddie Mercury and Queen. Um, it's an EP with half a dozen songs on. Radio Gaga, Frank Gordon, I Am The Champion, We Will Rock You, Save Me, Everybody Sings Queen, and That Wembley Thing. Fantastic. 1987, Frank Sidebottom. It's a joy. It is... Unfortunately, leaving my collection, but I do have it on 12 inch. So, um, uh, next, uh, Scandal, which um, not related to the movie at all, which was out, I don't know, around about the same time, maybe a year or two earlier. It was kind of Queen's 
throw out the um, at the press. That's from the album The Miracle. Um, and again, one of those covers where I think that's pretty much a like a publicity photograph from the making of the uh, video for The Invisible Man. So not really anything to do with the single, but you know, there doesn't seem to be as much thought put into singles as there is the albums, obviously, um, in that sense. That's the B-side, My Life Has Been Saved, um, which pops up um, later on on um, Made in Heaven. And that's also, uh, there's another version of Scandal, I believe that came out of the jukebox somewhere. Um, uh, this is another copy of Bohemian Rhapsody. This one was released in 1991. So I believe this is the version that is mentioned in the movie that was released shortly after Freddie's death in that uh, this went back this went to number one. And the B-side is These Are the Days of Our Lives um, uh, from Innuendo. Um, so yeah, you know, I I couldn't not really buy that one. Um, now I'll do a separate video on this, but this is Freddie Mercury the Singles um, box set, and these are on coloured vinyl. Um, so in here it includes um, every one of Freddie Mercury's solo single releases. There's Larry Lyric's I Can Hear Music, Love Kills, I Was Born to Love You. Um, so this is obviously in my collection because of the, the coloured vinyl um, and that's that's the Larry Lyric blue. So I will do a separate video on those but that's my Queen singles collection. Unfortunately they all they will all be selling um, except for the original Bohemian Rhapsody I'll be keeping hold of that but I will be parting with that one and the rest of them um, I can only keep so much for purely sentimental reasons um, you know I, I keep my records to play and the singles don't really get played um, this is a this is a memento more than a I'm, I'm unlikely to play these much but there you go that's my single so thank you